All right, can you see me better now? I'm in the light. Okay. Where, 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 where are you? Man, I'm in Chain Gang. You in what? I'm in Chain Gang. I'm in prison. You, you, you in prison, honey? Phones are yeah, on. Buddy. Phones are on. Yeah, I mean. I paid I paid twenty five hundred for my phone, so I guess they is allowed. Get the door to fixed. Exposed to the world that you're gonna get in trouble. Man, no, I've been uh, no, I've been doing that. I've been on the shade room three times. I sent it to your DM, but you ain't checking. Yeah, I got. I you know, I get a lot of DMs. I don't really check the DMs. I do, man. man I do too. Them girls be at my neck, and I ain't got no yet. Y'all like these kind of Negroes. He's sitting there currently in jail. With no shame, talking about I paid twenty five hundred for this here phone, so I guess it's legal up in here. That that dope boy, ignorant, destructive ass flexing, dumb shit that y'all like so much. That poor man, I, I wish him the best, but the way he talking and the way he moving, crazy, crazy. But y'all love that. He said he on there trying to find love. He gonna find something too because he already flexing bread. That's that's it's so bad that these couch negroes out there so bad that a man behind bars got more resources than you to the point where he is desirable to free women out there. That's nuts. That is a shame. That is that is a bad mark on us men. That a man behind bars can be more resourceful than a free man. He said he paid twenty five hundred for the phone, and and that's what I'm saying. These couch Negroes ain't got twenty five hundred dollars. Won't see that in a year, and here he go behind bars talking big shit. Talking about got women in his inbox at his neck. He don't got. Done been on the shave room three times. On the shave room, we in a heat inbox and Kendra. This is sick. It's just, I don't know where to start with this between the system and and just the evil. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna so, say, man, how comfortable do you want to be behind bars? Fuck. <laughs> very, they very institutionalized. They want to be very comfortable. They think it's cute, and then they, it's, it's sick. Then these little boys going there. Then they want to do it. Why? What? Seriously, seriously, y'all gotta understand why these sisters be so quick to call y'all homosexual. Why y'all want to be behind bars with other men so bad? So bad. I that is this shit worse than death. I ain't ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way. Just ain't no way. I feel like them dudes on the movies you'll never take me alive, man. Seriously. Is the group no that while you're in prison? Yeah, I'm a prison bay. A prison bay. Yeah. What is your name? My name is Teddy Graham. Teddy, what where, where are you at, honey? Prison where? In Georgia, I'm in Georgia. Georgia, how old are you? I'm sure I'm 35, no kids. 35, no kids. How long you been in prison for? I said 2016. So six years. Six. Yep. When you get to come home. I got two more years and five months to go. Two more years and five months. Now I'm not sure. Are you at liberty to, to tell us why you're in prison? Oh, yeah. Um, somebody had tried somebody in my family. My cousin called me crying, talking about her boyfriend beat her up and took her tax money. So I had one of my homegirls act like he met her at the gas station, met us at the hotel, and I tied him up and robbed him. And he told him. So that's how I got here. So, so you, I sleep good every night. You sleep good every night. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to play with now, female in my family. I'm the big cousin. The buck, now they say the buck stop here. The buck stop here. So you robbed him and got the money back that he took from your cousin? Yeah. yeah. You and tied him up. Oh, you and tied him up. The buck stop here. He the big cousin. I want to say the big dumbass cousin who landed himself in prison for fucking 10 years. I'm that cousin. Holy fuck. Over a tax over a tax return. So he say he say her give me the story. Give give us the story. He he said her boyfriend, she called crying, I guess boyfriend and jumped on her and then took her tax money. So you got some baby daddy drama going on, and you the buck stops with you. So here we go, honk. That's that bullshit. Here we go with these hood normals. I know. I know everybody can feel how they want to feel. Everybody, I'm, I'm sure we all don't feel the same way. 
by the end of the fucking day, call the fucking police. You can't be too above it. We talk about a woman being assaulted by a man. That's domestic violence. We talk about a man taking this woman's money. That's fucking robbery. There's all kinds of charges there. But the buck stopped with you. And look where the fuck white man said, no, it don't start with me. I got some fool you now. <laughs> How the fuck the buck stop with you and you, I lock you up. Now I start with you. If it stopped with you, you'd be free. If the buck, you had controlled all the bucks, motherfucker. Holy shit. You got to sit down for about eight years. You got to sit down for a total of about eight years and some change. And you take that as a dub. You, you did all that. Let's say for the most. Let's say she had a couple babies and this tax return was 10 racks. You exchanged 10, 10 years for $10,000. And that and that shit equated. That math was math to you. What? It ain't math? It ain't math. If, if, you, if your life ain't worth a damn, I guess not. If it's only worth $1,000 a year, I don't, I don't know. That don't make sense to me at all. Like Gavin said, call the police. Seriously. And I, or or don't, but don't. Why go to prison? Why go to jail? What's worse than going to prison? Can somebody help me with this? Uh, other than hit hitting you know the graveyard. Saying? So you say instead of sending you to prison, I'm gonna send myself to prison. And I'm. How did that even make any sense? But but I'm still on the outside with all that tax money doing whatever he want. Probably back over there beating down my sister while I'm locked up. You see what I'm saying? That's the bullshit. He right back in that fucking house while your goofy ass is locked up. My God. Some, you- sometimes people like they 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 like them. They like their system, man. They like they like penitentiary mail and smelling balls. They like that shit. You gotta get up and like that shit, yo. You cannot, you 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 just can't. I don't give a damn what happened. I got a lot of female cousins, a whole bunch of sisters, all that. You got fair warning. If it ain't, if, if you got to be, be logical. I got a life. But I'm not about to sit down and eat oodles and noodles and honey buns and do push-ups and look at a man every day, smell a man's ass all year, get told when to sleep, get told what to eat. Over you, you ain't worth shit. You can go give your ass up to somebody else anyway. And do what you want to do while I'm in here, this motherfucker surviving. Fuck that sh- man. No, hell to the nah. He wild and he must be conditioned already to be willing to go in there and be like, Yeah, I, <laughs> it stops with me. It ain't really stopped. You just don't give a damn. I'm not doing it. we not about to be sleeping in the same fucking room all every day. <laughs> Selly, I'm not doing No, hell no. Hell to the no. I'm not I'm not drinking that salt Peter. So I, so so I don't get aroused. Like, man, you ain't about to take me from my natural state on purpose over some damn tax money. You shouldn't have been dealing with his ass. That's exactly what I'm gonna say. And he in there finessing, got a phone and all, cause the COs, the female COs giving that ass up, they doing it. They be sitting there boning him, and he probably boning to somebody else. That's foul. Ooh. <laughs> it just be happening, man. What you mean? He just got a punk. Happening. He got a punk, and on top of the punk, he got the CO. A female CO gave him that rump, brought him a phone, go go back outside to her husband or baby daddy she dealing with, just to come back to the prison. And if she said if he if she if he don't get what he want now, money, honey buns, oozing noodles, <laughs> he don't, money on his books, he go tell on her ass. She came in here and boned me. It's called the, uh, fuck, I forgot that shit called. You, you ain't allowed to have sex with no inmate, though. And he yeah. got them, he, got, he, he bribing the hell out of her now. Oh, man, this is all bad. So she stuck. You got, yeah, the phone worth 2500 He ain't got that shit. And, and, and the greatest problem of it all is, you know, they going to celebrate this brother when he come home. Like he, uh, fuck it. you see, what I'm saying they sell. We we celebrate the worst of us. There you go. I don't think he did anything admirable. I think it was foolish. This is our this is our damn uh, culture, man. 
your your motherfuckers will praise. They won't praise you for getting a certification. They won't praise you or support you while you getting your degree. But while you sitting in there for some dumb shit, they will make sure you got money on your books just to come home and be a crackhead. So maybe that's why they put you in jail. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I've been locked up ever since. I used to stay in Buckhead, now I stay in the prison cell. Used to stay in Buckhead, now you stay in the prison cell. Now you told me you're a prison bay. So, so are you popular? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been, I've been on Wendy Williams and all that. Like, you've been on Wendy Williams. On my page and everybody. You've been in jail. Yes. Okay. Look, Linnell, Linnell, my best friend. So I don't know if y'all know Aunt Linnell. She flashed me on live and it went viral. Okay. 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 That's what we so if you seen that on the shade room and went to read that. Uh, so like I said, like, you gotta stop moving, honey. I got let me, let me sit the phone down then. Well, well, we gotta have good right, light. Better, better. So we gotta have good light though. So Teddy, real quick, so hold the phone back up because we need to have the light in your face. So Teddy, how would a woman how would you date a woman? Because you know this is my dating show, right? So how is this gonna work yeah. with me show? For two and a half because hours. I have a because I have a whole phone. Like I don't I don't need no money on my books. You ain't got to put no money on the phone. Just pick up and I call you, baby. That's all you gotta do. Just, and bring just, that just, rose out and bring that rose out here now. I mean, you know what I'm going. You, she has to bring the rose out. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm locked up. I mean, what you what you? I'm bringing that oak out. So y'all gotta have phones. Yeah, I mean, what else? I, I ain't got no bump, man. I mean, what else? So, I mean, I, I don't know how this works. I'm sorry. I mean, oh, you, oh, yeah, you ain't never, you, you never been in a relationship with somebody locked up before. Your boyfriend ain't never went to jail or nothing. No, it hasn't happened. I'm sorry. I guess I'm missing out on life because yeah. I never yeah, ever, in prison. Nicki Minaj came home and married her prison bay. Akbar V got her prison bay. Amarella just left her prison bay. Like, all, yeah, all of us. Yeah, we we is popping. Okay, I guess there's some truth to it. I speak about more of the women than anything. I don't. I, there's probably some degree of truth in that. You know, she said, "Yeah, hey, all the women come get men up out of jail." You kind of hit on it, Willie. He said, "Break that rose out." So, like I said before, have we made prison too comfortable? He said, "Everybody." You know, I got get it. Bay. I get it. Like God. everybody got prison bay. Everybody got a prison bay. Nicki Minaj got a prison bay. Such and such just left a prison bay. Prison bays is what's hitting for a prison bay. And y'all bitches talking about toxic masculinity and shit. Ain't but no good man. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Huh. But but prison bays is popping. And 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 Matufu over in Jamaica trying to get that green card is y'all keep keep at it. Just keep at it. Keep at it. I ain't to, I ain't to hell with him. He trying to get it how he live. He's scum. Yeah, yeah. But shit. Y'all letting this man have a chance. Or women sleeping with these inmates is yeah. gross. Y'all wow. <laughs> seriously, I what what seriously, what does it take for a woman really to say I'm going to become sexually active with a man that's in prison? Like y'all likely I didn't know I didn't know him before he got here. That's some coward of shit. Y'all strong independent women always claiming that a man is Oh, uh, y'all men scared of a strong woman? No. Y'all women scared of a strong man. So y'all go to a man that's dependent on the fucking state, his mama, his auntie and them, locked up. Y'all need a green a, card, something. He got all that. Y'all need a dependent life. ass man. Yep. And if y'all can find a dependent man that can't put shit in his name, but he got bread, that's, there you go. That's why y'all like that dope boy. He can't put shit in his name. He put it all in your name, but he needs extreme you. Control. That's extreme control. The house in extreme. my name. Extreme. That's extreme control. Everything in, in your name. Y'all like that. Keep it up. Keep it up. Teddy Bear and them, the whole prison bay community is there for y'all. Well, folks, he been on Wendy Williams. Got, they ain't got damn thing. Holy fuck. Maybe we go viral for talking about this crazy motherfucker. How the hell he on Wendy Williams? So the government and everybody, they know what he's doing. They just like, whatever. Prison bays are popping. You're the most loyal man up there, huh? Yeah, I am. We got and, and, and this wood clean, this drug disease free. We ain't got to worry. You ain't got to worry about nigga cheating on you. You know where I'm at every night. <laughs> Two things is true. Hold on now. We ain't going to skip past that because the dick clean. You insinuating that motherfuckers ain't having sex. That's a lie. 
motherfucker, I ain't cheating. How I'm a cheat? Bullshit. You know what y'all goofy motherfuckers doing? So we're going to stop the cap. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. But I'm going to get back to it. We're going to stop the cap, though. He wasn't about to sweep past that. How I'm a cheat on you? It ain't possible. Huh? Give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they know where we at every night. I got a question. So he ain't got to so, worry about Teddy, Teddy, with that being said, are you looking for one woman to have phone sex with, or do you want a few women? Man, I'm single, so you know I'm you know I can mingle, but you know, once I show them this oak tree, they be like, hmm, when you come at home, they need to let you out, they need to free you. So you know, you know, I'm just oh, thankful for the Lord for blessing me. Once you show it on, they have to. They... You horny bitches. <laughs> he said, Once I show this oak tree, why do they even lock you up for? He's a good guy. You're doing God's work. This is bullshit. We're going to start a petition, get you up out of there. Why ain't Trump pardon you? This is bullshit. <laughs> Holy fuck. The women want you to. Ooh, child. They. Oh. Yeah, they see, see. See, women, see, we the one made it possible for girls to do FaceTime calls. Like, they do FaceTime calls and charge niggas $25 to $50. Us in prison, we the one started that trend. So a lot of women making money just off the chain game. Oh, so if a woman FaceTimes you, you pay her $25? No, I mean, that's what's going on. I'm, I'm famous. I ain't got to do none of that. They going to they gonna do it for CEO regardless. Oh, they going to do it for you. But, but mm -hmm. other men are paying women for $25 for FaceTimes? FaceTime 25, 50, yeah. They just want, you know, see them handle that bill. That would be I'm glad he brought that up. So we talk about the women of the night. They ain't gone nowhere. The woman of the night simply removed herself from the corner. If she got a cell phone and access to these crazy motherfuckers in jail, fuck, she can run it up. Like you oh, said, $50 dollars well, Like I said, sometimes I feel like I live under a rock. Because I'm sure people watching like, oh, y'all yeah, ain't know that shit going on. I'm like, hell no, I knew this shit was going on. This is crazy as fuck. So at any moment, any desperate woman with a phone, it, it could go it could go down that quick. If she got some access, if she, like she got to know somebody, know somebody, right? Yeah, so if yeah. your girl come and say, girl, I know these motherfuckers locked up upstate. It's like five of them, 10 of them. They got so phones. They so if I'm his, so if I'm his main girl and I got to connect, I'm like, look, I'm about to get all these chicks, get the phone numbers, and y'all just make the phone calls, send the bread, and we're so gonna run it up. Brothel. The brothel went through its electronic brothel. I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed. You think it ain't hold on? Because here we got to these women ain't just clever. A lot of times there's a man behind this shit. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. But you got the women of the night, and then you got their handler. They you know, yeah. So you gotta understand, motherfuckers know how to get to these bags. It ain't as you know, what I mean, these ain't uh coincidences. This is a whole system and a market I'm telling you. People be like, How these sisters be getting it, man? These sisters be hustling. Uh, they be selling their souls. Cause, like I said, there's things worse than death, and you can't come back from a lot of this shit. This is this is OnlyFans Prison Edition. There you go. And and you can't miss, and you're charging a premium because they they extraordinarily desperate. We talking about motherfuckers been locked up for one, two, three, twenty years. I you know, I mean, hell, run it up. That's break that rose out. Let me tell it. A lot of times they didn't got show themselves. They could. They can download some shit on the internet and be playing these motherfuckers a playback or some shit. And then at the end of the day, shit, they ain't in the same room, yada, yada. What's, I get it. A lot of finessing going oh, on. Oh, yeah. They still, oh, they, they, they finessing them just for the sake of finessing them. You, seriously, they finesse them just for the sake of finessing them. I mean, them. I get it. I get it. Brothers locked up. I get it. I yeah. Get it. <laughs> It all make, but I said it all make too much sense. You know? Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah. Golly. Holy guacamole. Uh, is, is there any end to the madness? No. That's what will be going on. So who are you looking for tonight, Teddy? I don't know how this is going to work, but let's just. Man, it, it don't matter. You know, I really want to date a woman with some kids. Because, you know, if she got two or three kids or got beat on, I like them type of women. Because Teddy, she I ain't going to keep letting you get too many syllables out. I'm going to keep stopping you. I say not, Teddy. You've been locked up for 10 years. I don't want you around nobody fucking kids but your own. Even if and you got to deal with that. I can't tell you what to do with your own kids. 
I don't want Teddy around nobody's motherfucking kids and anybody of the likes of Teddy. Leave the babies out of this shit. I want a woman with kids and that was getting beat on. What kind of fucking says who? This motherfucker tripping. No. No, Teddy. No. What you want to do? Jump on her old man so you can end up back in jail? I want a woman that's getting beat on. Let's say he's about to finish. He's about to say why he want them. So let me see what he say before I go any further. And beat on, that mean that shit good. And she got two or three kids, that mean the nigga ain't pulling out. And that shit good. So, you know. And there we go. It was all based in ignorance and debauchery. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, seriously. I was going, Teddy. Before I crucified you, Teddy, I gave you that leg, Teddy. Teddy, look at me in my eyes, Teddy. Teddy. Uh, Teddy. I said, hold on. I said, maybe Teddy going to say, I want to save the community. I want to start a advocacy group for battered women. Bro. No, not Teddy. Teddy said, if this woman been getting her head went upside it, that's a good indication she's sitting on some good wop. And if she got two or three kids, that's another indication she's sitting on some good wop. This is all based in Teddy and him following his penis <laughs> down some dark road. Holy fuck. Gotta do better, ladies. <laughs> Teddy. Gotta do better. Oh, one. He said, if if dude going upside your head, that means it must be good, drive man crazy. And if you got three kids, that means too good to pull out. <laughs> I want that. And and here we are. I, I ain't never gonna stop getting on these motherfuckers, I tell you that, because they all gas. We losing ground. Real men out here trying to make a positive change. We losing ground with motherfuckers like Teddy out here doing the devil's work. Holy oh. smokes. You talking about being around the kids. You did nothing good. I'm not, I'm not hearing it. You keep talking about sex, and sex, and sex, and sex. You lead me on to think, who knows? Ain't nobody in the house safe around. See, Teddy. yeah. So I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna leave it at that for YouTube purposes. <laughs> Nobody's safe around Teddy, ladies. Don't bring the goddamn babies around Teddy, please, for the sake of the whole community, please. Seriously. And men like Teddy, there ain't no one off. If motherfucker got Teddy's resume. Keep that motherfucker away from the babies, at least. God, I mean, that damn. shit good. And she got two or three kids. That mean the nigga ain't pulling out. And that shit good. So, you know. What do you mean? I'm going to hang up on you on that. That's not funny. <laughs> what do you mean if a woman got beat on, that means she's good? If she got beat on, that means that nigga's crazy. That means that she, that she got that she got that, she got that good cat. Like, ain't no reason funny. for a man to put their hands on the female. Buddy, I understand that you, you like to be funny. That's not funny, though. Saying a woman is no, I was being dead ass. Like if a woman being this listen, if a woman being beat on, I'm a nigga, she ain't got she ain't got to worry about that nigga ever touching her again. G come G come be with Teddy. She she ain't got to worry about that situation no more. I'm handling that nigga. He, she ain't got to worry about it. I'm handling that whole business. Yeah. I'm oh, the really? one that be like yeah. when them folks be when them when them folks be beefing, when them folks be beefing in public and you see a nigga go knock the nigga out, that be me. I don't be. I got five sisters. I don't play that. I got five sisters. I, I hate. I hate niggas that do that type of stuff. Teddy, so are you saying once you get out of jail, there's a high probability you might be going back? Oh uh, no. I mean, it depends. If a nigga try this shit and we in public, yeah, there's a possibility I go back. But it ain't like I'm getting out of prison and be like, yeah. I think I'm just gonna knock him out and go on back to prison. No, this is my first and last. Teddy got some. Weird, twisted ass honor system. I can't figure it out. I say, tell Teddy this: You've been locked up a long time. You get out and try to knock on these motherfuckers out if you want. You're gonna be pushing up flowers out this motherfucker. Man, they're gonna, you know they're gonna turn your ass into fertilizer, motherfucker. These young boys ain't gonna be tussling with you, Teddy. They not. They not. They're gonna go upside your sister head. You're gonna try to go upside their head, and they're gonna hit you with that leg. You're gonna be dead, and it's gonna be all bad. <laughs> Teddy there. asking for it at this point. Yeah, Teddy, Teddy wow. Like, Teddy. like, man, you can't wear your whole masculinity on your fucking sleeves like that. We all men. That's that fucking weird, twisted ass, institutional ass, because that's all they know. They yes. Can't, they can only, I get it. I understand the conditioning, but no. He talking about, I want a woman that's been beat on and got three kids. He do. And it ain't got nothing to do with she got no good walk. If she been abused mentally and 
physically abused and got three kids, three baby daddies, that's called easy prey. We've that's why you own her. We've seen them on the show. Yeah, exactly. He said, that's what I want because they easy. They're going to take all this bull jab I'm dishing out, all that. They're going to bring out that rose. I'm going to show them this, this, this oak tree, and we're going to get it going around him. Woo! <laughs> Teddy off the motherfucking hook. What's that in the background? Man, these these folks talking. You want me to tell them to shut no, up? No, please, please. And y'all need to shut up. Y'all shut up. It Teddy. It Teddy G. Y'all shut up. Yeah, I'm the big dog around here. Damn. Um, Teddy, let's. Hey. Um, I was say, <laughs> if there's a woman that Teddy's in jail, he's in prison. He has two years and five months left. If you want to be a woman he can FaceTime with, you're going to pull out the rose for him. He's going to do what he does. If that is your type of party, Teddy, give her your Instagram. Teddy talking brazy to motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. So there you go, young man. Y'all walk in the streets. Y'all sagging your pants. Y'all acting tough. Understand. You're going to end up in prison. You have to answer to a motherfucker like Teddy. You understand? Teddy gonna rule over you, whether you like it or not. He just told you I'm the big dog around here. He told a bunch of grown men to shut the fuck up. All right, Teddy couldn't get away with that in public, not around men like myself and Willie. You can't walk around <laughs> and tell my fucker shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. But when you get to prison, you must follow prison rules, young men. Don't wind your ass up thinking you tough out here with your gun and all that. Mm-hmm. And you end up sitting in that cell and Teddy in there telling you to shut the fuck up and taking your commissary and shit and other things we ain't going to talk about. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> think twice, young man. Go get a fucking job. It's banger. It's banger, tell these motherfuckers. Go get a job. Figure this shit out. Say it like this, man. Planet Fitness. You can work out all day, okay? You want to be big like J Bo, you'd be all right. You, you, you can't roll in that place like that because you go get muscle from day one. They might take your behind just because you you smoked out, they ain't. They know what that culture is like. That man running the they scared of him by far. This is not a game. You do not want to go inside them walls because when you come back, you ain't gonna be the same man. Everybody ain't built for that. Especially you mama boys. Hanging with your mama all day talking that too. I'm going to go on let me say ain't nobody built for that. I think that's kind of a... uh, uh, Nobody should be there. Let's put it that way. There you go. Nobody should be there. A lot of people say, oh, everybody ain't built for this. Ain't nobody built to fucking be locked up in prison. Good fuck how they act, what they told you. You could become institutionalized after being there for so long, but no, that ain't a thing. It ain't for any goddamn body to be in prison and locked in cell for 23 hours a day and fucking having to fucking strip news, show your man your asshole and your nuts at least two or three times a day. All right? Nothing normal about that. Ain't nobody built for that shit. I promise you. So that's a- Well, it's not humane. Let's disagree on that. That is not humane. Everywhere you go, somebody got to pat you from your head to your toe for real. Make you open up your mouth, looking in your ears. Spread your <laughs> cheek. Yes. You bend over and cough, motherfucker. Every time Niggas, you walk somewhere, in the, you in the, look at your nuts. And that's violation of a man's code. Like They trying to see if you shove something up in that mug yeah, and if you will cough it out. Yeah. Well, now you go on a visit. Them. That's what they do. That's called boofing. Them. That's called boofing. They call that sh- that shift booty duty. <laughs> you on booty duty. I need you to get my knife from the sale out to the yard, motherfucker. They're going to find the weakest motherfucker. You young punk motherfuckers that's watching this. You're going to be on booty duty. They're going to make you transport some shit out to the yard up inside you. What you say about that? So, hey, it's been cell phones recovered. All that. You don't want to be on knives. We. Yeah, that yeah. Balloon pop, that balloon pop with all them drugs up in you, motherfuckers are overdosed and died. Seen them right on the scanner. Wait, hold on. 
That thing didn't come out when he coughed. Yes, yeah, in the stomach down there. Yeah, they do that for them sharp objects. Like you got knives and shit, they make you cough and get real tense. You're gonna start stabbing yourself all up if it's something up in there. It's real like they spend over, cough, get you know, they want the muscles to get real <laughs> tense. Because if you got some up in there, you're gonna start piercing shit when you start shoving sh uh sharp shit up in, you know what I mean. And it's just not fair. It's not fair to look at Willie. Willie taking the back hill. You know? to, to, it, it's just it's just sad because don't make up for booty duty, man. It's it just sad, man, because like we get used to this culture, you know what I'm saying? Getting used to the conditions, the 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 the, the, the hustling of you get cell phones in places, you you getting over on the, your family and the world. You know what I mean? Just to survive. That man don't give a damn. He put himself in that situation. You know what I'm saying? But dealing with the situation, he love it in there. He still got a phone. He's still doing what he want to do. Imaginary uh, experiences, you know, having fantasies in there, Raleigh in there, going crazy. I mean, they, they do whatever the hell they got to do, writing all types of letters of line. Like, come on, man. It, it just ain't like it, man. Last Go. love letters. Yeah, man. I'll be telling. Look, you, anybody that got a daughter, tell them to go find a damn nerd. Find the best nerd they can find, man. That, them jailbirds ain't going to do it. How your feelings hurt. You and, and, your, and, your, and your crotch broke. Because the, the lining will be gone when he come home. I'll start divesting. I tell you what, I'd rather my baby walk up in here with Clark Kent than Fucking that motherfucker. Man. Hey, what? Come, on, come, on. come on, bring Bruce Wayne up in this motherfucker. Hey, Fuck. he ain't lying. Bring that fucking that asshole. Fuck that. Real talk. I'll take, I'll take Carlton Banks. Yeah, I'll deal with Peter Parker. Come on. But that right. Debo type per people yeah, stuck in the system for life. Oh, I'm doing uh, I got eight years this time. Then come back. I got 12 more to do this time. Dang, your whole Kendra life said you don't go back. Kendra said you getting out just to go back in. Said, no, unless one of these motherfuckers try me again. It's Institutionalized. They they like waking up, getting counted on. They like they like eating that damn state food, uh, breakdowns, uh, <laughs> fantasizing man. about women and shit that they, they had lie. back in the day. <laughs> Some bullshit. Waiting on that penitentiary mail that you ain't gonna never get from nobody. Ain't nobody gonna write your dumb ass. <laughs> Not unless you did something honorable. Fuck. Yeah. Well, I guess he halfway did to him. You know, it's just a hood normal. <laughs> That's how institutionalized bullshit. It's okay. honorable in the institutionalized way. What you dang man, why, why you back up in here, man? Man, it was all over some income tax money in my mouth. Holy fuck. My relative. That's some bullshit. Don't nobody. No, man. No. White man no. laughing. He didn't kill about three birds with that one stone. That one check that took out about five niggas. It <laughs> is not Damn worth <laughs> a boiled egg, a piece of toast, and some lumpy ass oatmeal. And you got to eat that within eight minutes. And some damn like Kool Aid they got. That got a uh, salt peter in it, so you so your meat don't work. <laughs> well, he got no regrets, Banger. He got no regrets. So he ain't, he ain't taking that Kool Aid with the with the salt peter in that thing because he. I want y'all to drink some salt peter and then go home to your woman. <laughs> and she go touch you, ain't nothing go happen. <laughs> You're just gonna be lifting all day, lifting weight. Like, dang man, will he big as hell? Don't nothing coat, don't nothing work. Huh? Don't nothing work. Just be sitting there looking at somebody. You drink that salt peter. That's what that that's what that Kool-Aid is, that salt peter. So they don't so they don't be jumping all over each other. <laughs> If they don't drink that salt, Peter, you look out. <laughs> I've seen somebody do 50 pull up. Well, uh, not pull ups, but uh, what's the not damn, not pull ups, muscle ups, yes, straight. 
<laughs> and, they, and I was like, dang, how you get so damn acrobatic and strong? Salt Peter. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, man? They 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 call it Salt Peter. I call it Soft Peter, man. <laughs> well, they got this thing where they shave their pants past their butt. It's a style. They call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they were prepared for this, right? So you shave your pants in her, man. Somebody be up in your butt. You know, and it just said so. He, he ain't taking his salt, Peter. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> the old, the old school ones is the worst. Okay, they'll take it. And they be would well, they be on that shit, huh? They be a you know, too many years. They be like, man, you gonna be my punk this year? Come in there with that long hair. I, if I had to go, I'm, I'm, I'm going bald, bro. You are not gonna be stroking my dreads. <laughs> nope. You <laughs> wow. Oh, well, you gonna be fighting all the time. They gonna be like, man, I don't care how how hard he is. And that's they, and that's, that's and that's what I mean. It's an unnatural environment. And like I said, <laughs> this old movie said the best. You never take me alive. And that's you a weapon. Alive. You can do whatever you want with my corpse. It won't take me alive. Really? They want, they want your body. <laughs> you can't go up in that mug, I'm telling you. As soon as you go up in there the way we look, we might as well just get straight baldies. Serge, you too, brother. We will not survive prison. It ain't that we can't fight them off. It just is going to be a lot of fighting, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Soon as you soon as you lay down, they go, you gonna be like, man, what is y'all trying to do? And they gonna be like, man, I want some of that rump. Nighttime, see over there eating Doritos and honey buns, trying not to fall asleep, drinking coffee. You gotta defend yourself. You can't be up in that mug sexy. Just cut that damn hair off, show that receding hairline if you got one. Let it be. You got to do about four thousand push-ups a day, bro.